We plant roses the thorny stick that can rip and shred. Color and smell, promise of love with velvety touch. Fruit of the bramble, seed of the thistle. NHS is the beast.
causes cancer? Hate. I had my problem on my face, sort of linked to wisdom teeth, I went to a dentist, they recommend that I go and have the wisdom tooth extracted, I didn't. But any sort of illness is in a sense like a cancer any sort of, except for man-made things. So if you let doctors or whatever put poisons into you, you know, expect some side effects. And also all drugs that we use will have some sort of side effects. When, and you feel it when you're going without, and you get off it. Well, I think some side effects will be immediate, especially the pharmaceuticals. Their crazy concoctions, probably toxins that they're getting rid of. And um, <laughs> while that may sound far-fetched, remember what sort of founded the uh, pharmaceutical was penicillin, which was mould. That is to say, a little bit of bacteria is good for you, natural bacteria. We depend on natural bacteria. When we spray our houses with chemicals and cleaning products, 
we sterilize our clothes with chemicals, we put chemicals on a toothbrush and shove it in our mouth. Well I don't. <laughs> and it's not you can avoid it as long as you don't swallow the toothpaste. Your gums are gonna be absorbing all the time. And if it kills all the bacteria in your mouth, well that is the beginning in bid <laughs> The beginning place of disease basically. Lots of natural healers uh, agree that the mouth is the birthplace of disease. So when you're using toothpaste <coughs> and also using tap water with the chemicals it's got in it, but I think mainly the toothpaste especially the fluoride ones, which is all of them except one, pretty much. Um, you're poisoning yourself, basically, with toxic waste. <laughs> and I'll just say the reason I make my videos a bit weird, a bit out there, is in a sense so that really only the ones who are ready will get the message I'm deadly serious I'd be quite happy to do a psychological test I quite happily argue with anyone my beliefs and I my friend was saying to me earlier on the phone um, he watched a program the other day all about you know what people think is the reality of our situation and there were sort of 30 different opinions so you know some people believe in Star Wars, some people believe in EastEnders, and I believe in God, an all-powerful, loving God, who controls everything that happens to you. <laughs> what happens to you doesn't control what you do, you do what you want to do. And we've got to the stage in this world, well, we've, I think, you know, we are getting better now. I think we've passed the peak of worsening. I think the world is getting better. So there is a bright future. And you're going to have to be brave. You don't know what I'm talking about, most of you, or well, those who are still listening. When you feel a feeling and you do something else to get away from it, then you're running away. Don't move a muscle. Allow everything. That is the way our parents, mother and father God, want us to learn. We have this life to experience things so that we can make sense and make and understand what is real and, and in a sense, you know, we have to learn by mistakes and things have to go wrong. But like I say, we're getting better. So soon, it will be a beautiful world. And the children will be brought up properly with the correct loving laws. And the parents, as gods as they are to children, will set loving examples.
and there won't have to be a doom. Death is not the end. Lots of people have died. Everybody dies. We have our short life. Some people shorter than others. And it gets better and better. The NHS is a wolf dressed in sheep's clothing. Of course it does good things. That's the sheep's clothing. The wolf is underneath. <clears throat> right, so I've uh, searched um, National Health Service on Wikipedia. <clears throat> I came across the Health and Social Care Act of 2012, which basically uh, got rid of the um, the PCT managers, whatever the PCT and had this new group, the CCGs, which 80% of them, of the chairmen were GPs, uh, a quarter of accountable officers in GPs in October 2014, only half of GP practices said they felt involved in CCG decision making processes. CCGs operate by commissioning or buying healthcare services including elective hospital care, rehabilitation care, urgent and emergency care, most community health services, mental health and learning disability services. So is that everything? A lot of where the money goes and so what can happen then is you can get a certain building where they practice some sort of health service which is kind of you know a law unto their own that's that's going to be something that's possible and you know how people like to protect their budgets don't they they like to feel useful you know they might sometimes do things which aren't necessary just to sort of continue in use and their sort of experimentation. <laughs> Sorry, have I read this? NHS often make treatment decisions based on one visit and don't then check the progress or worsening of a condition. You know, like with cancer, when someone's... Right, many people are diagnosed in routine checks and had little idea of ill health. Treatment is started swiftly and the person's world gets turned upside down. And that's what happened to my dad. Well, I'm serious. I make a stand against the NHS, the core of it. I'm not saying they do bad things and everybody in the NHS is bad, of course not. They're angels and demons. <laughs> okay. And um, so, of course, I'm not slagging off the nurses or everybody, but there's a core of it which is evil. It does man made, man caused harm to, m to other people it is the vehicle of the beast 
treating us like rat, lab rats and feeding us poison when our bodies start to break down mostly caused by all the testing and probing and experimenting on affecting millions and nobody's really noticing and boy are people going to be offended by this I even got warned, you know, not to say anything that will offend people. It'll offend people to say that cancer is caused by hating too much. Look, well, they don't know what the truth is. They don't know. I mean, see all these cancer research adverts these days? You know, how come they're spending so much money on adverts? Probably actors. Cancer keeps coming back, they don't want to cover that. My most popular video on this channel is a talk about cancer and why the doctors would fall for this, basically. Because, you know, and why, why do we all fall for it? Because we haven't really considered it. It's been indoctrinated into us from a very young age. <laughs> The dentist checkups. Count your teeth. Do, 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 do. Lovely. Here's the sticker. Brush your teeth twice a day. Use this fluoride toothpaste. Look at the adverts. Look how much they put on. One safe this safe this I saw. One safe this fabulous more. I brush my teeth a bloody day. They look. Sorry. Not, not doing much for uh, trying to prove my sanity. I, I'm happily. I think I'm, been more loving lately than ever. And um, except when really goaded, seriously goaded. Does anyone understand the word goaded? Like, you know, someone's trying to get you, cross. Someone's. Or some people are doing stuff to. make you react <laughs> see if only people if only everyone knew the answers and how good it really is it's going to be awesome and I think that is coming ever waiting it's like so much of history is seem to be waiting for this time, but I think the time is continual. But you know, it goes on waves. I mean imagine what it would have been like with the bubonic plague, the black death in those days. Imagine what that was like. They must have thought this is the end, you know, bloody hell. Well that's how I imagine it, if people dying everywhere. It must have been awful. I mean, I don't know, I wasn't there, but I can imagine that the people were going on a downward slope into wickedness. Like you read in the Old Testament of the Bible, that the Israelites, they're good, and then they're bad, and they're good, and then they're bad, and God's punishment really is just like learning the laws of love. Because love rules the universe. Love has some rules. You've got to be loving. As love rules the universe. If you're unloving in any thought, word or deed. And start with thought. Because that's where you can start working stuff out. As soon as you have an unloving thought. Analyse why. Look into it. Don't be quick to blame others. Look in deep into yourself. And don't fear. A lot of fears are born of having the wrong truth inside of you. Something that you believe that is false. And a lot of these things have been passed down because for a long time the blind have been leading the blind. 
and that's why we've lost our way and that causes direct harm to us and the earth and disease and earthquakes and all that stuff going on killing it, you know, animal, mass animal die-offs, it's like it's just like warnings and you know we all have it individually it's not there is one to the whole earth and that's kind of how people think of the whole earth people's perception of the whole world there are a lot of people and I was one for a while who kind of hate humans because of what they're doing but you know that's wrong because deep down all of us all of us have this same we're like brothers and sisters but we're all unique so deep down it's not true to hate all humans we need to love all of each other because <laughs> that's what God would want us to do and we have to learn and we will learn the hard way that other doing otherwise will lead to harm to yourself and others which is kind of leads to harm to yourself again same being loving is good for yourself and it's good for others and that is good for yourself again <laughs> It's a no-brainer. You just have to believe that it's so well orchestrated. It's perfect. Uh, regulation of the CCG. In 2014, NHS England investigated World Clinical Commission Group after Birkenhead MP Frankfield raised concerns about it. They found that the chair and the chief clinical officer did not demonstrate the necessary close work and agreement about what needed to change within the CCG. There were also questions about the relationship senior leaders had with Arrow Park Hospital after a report was published. Field repeated his calls for the senior officers to stand aside while a new constitution is made for the governance of the group. So at the moment, you know, it's not regulated. In October 2014, it was reported that NHS England were considering a special measures regime for CGCGs in difficulties, of which there were said to be about a dozen. Under the current assurance framework, CCGs are rated as assured, assured with support, or not assured. Only Bar Barnet CCG has been rated, is been rated not assured. Okay, all right. Bit of a mess sounds to me.